are so many new prefixes for this portion. Let's try to do a couple of more. So again, let's reference that word list, pull it out, and we're going to try a few more prefixes. Next new prefix is inter. Inter, I-N-T-E-R. Go ahead and see if you can find that on the word list and tell me what it means. They're nice and alphabetical on your word list. So inter refers to being between two things. So it is between. Next up is neo. Neo, N-E-O. See if you can check that word list, see what that refers to. Okay, neo refers to being new. Okay, so something that is new. Next, you kind of have a two for one, an A or an AN. Okay, A would be the prefix if you are starting the root term with a consonant, and AN is the prefix if you are starting that root term with a vowel. They do mean the same thing, it's just what we attach it to to make pronunciation and readability much, much easier. So go ahead and take a look at your word list. Let me know what the A or the AN prefix means because they do mean the same thing. So that prefix means to be without, to have none. Not would be another acceptable one. That means the same thing that you might see um, in some textbooks. But no, not, without, none, any of those would be that A or that A-N prefix. Next up, we have contra. Contra, C O N. E-R-A. Can you find what that means on that word list? All right, this one is against, okay? So to be against or almost like an opposite. All right, next up, this one might look a little bit different from a word you've seen before but it is pronounced oligo, oligo, O-L-I-G-O. -O. So go ahead and look up on that word list and tell me what that means. Okay, many word lists will tell you or many sites may tell you that this word means scanty. However, that is not a common um, English word. Scanty refers to being very few or very little, just so that you know what that word refers to. All right, next we have the prefix try. Try, T-R-I. Can you tell me what that means? All right, just like quad referred to four, Try is looking at a number, and it refers to the number three. Okay, last for the new prefixes, we have got poly. Poly, P-O-L-Y. Okay, go ahead and find what that one means. This refers to being many, so having multiples of something, so a large quantity. All right, how did you do on round two of finding those words? Hopefully you found everything. You're starting to digest and memorize some of these terms because we're about to use them um, to build some words.